So this is a polarization imaging camera uh, that looks at the polarization signature of the scene, uh, analyzing uh, various Stokes parameters, degree of linear polarization, uh, and the applications would be to look for man-made object in the uh, natural background, uh, looking for uh, parked vehicles under the shade. Um, it, uh, it's able to um, uh, enhance shadow details uh, and uh, also pick out um, artificial parts uh, in, in, the, in the background. So it does clutter rejection for um, finding stuff uh, of interest, the, uh, the area of interest. So th this is right now done with visible cameras, but uh, it can be extended to uh, midwave IR and infrared uh, um, uh, swerband, uh, shortwave IR. So there you can see that the uh, shadow uh, up here is hard to see what's underneath. Uh, you have to look very carefully, but it's very hard to see. And when you process polarized, polarized image, you can see the part. This is a false colorization. And so in the red area, uh, you can see uh, you can see actually the shadow details. You can see the parked uh, airplanes uh, along with the uh, hangar structures on the wall where it's very, very difficult to see in this uh, picture. This is probably one of the, uh, probably the most compact camera of this type. The other cameras tend to be bulkier. This one we're uh, putting false colorization, uh, putting uh, S naught and green channel, S1 and blue channel, and uh, red channel and S2. You could also view it by just the Stokes parameter by themselves. So this would be uh, just look. This would be S0, which is a regular radiometric uh, image, and uh, S1 looks like this. And you can see here very bright spot here is a liquid crystal uh, display and you can see that it's highly polarized along S1 and uh, along S2 you can see there's almost no light coming through. You can see the um, difference between the two polarizations. Yeah.